Hamilton is a large town in southwestern Victoria, Australia, at the intersection of the Glenelg Highway and the Henty Highway. The Hamilton Highway connects it to Geelong. Hamilton is in the Federal Division of Wannon, and is in the Southern Grampians local government area. Hamilton claims to be the wool capital of the world, based on its strong historical links to sheep grazing which continue today. The town uses the tagline, Greater Hamilton, One Place, Many Possibilities. On 12 September 1836, the explorer Major Thomas Mitchell was the first European to travel through the region. His reports of the fertility and abundance of Australia Felix, as he called this region of Western Victoria, encouraged pastoralists to move into the area and set up large sheep runs. In 1839, squatter Charles Wedge, with his brothers, arrived in the area and established the Grange Sheep Station near the banks of the Grange Burn Rivulet, where the town of Hamilton now stands. He proximity of the Grange to other properties, and to important routes between Portland and New South Wales, led to the gradual emergence of a small town. This settlement featured an inn, a blacksmith, a small store and some random shanties and businesses nearby. The site was a local social centre and meeting point for the surrounding pastoral properties. Horse races were held along the Grange Burn Flat. A postal office opened on 1 July 1844, Hamilton from 1 January 1854. The desire for a school prompted a town survey, which commenced in 1849. The township of Hamilton was formally declared in 1851. The town was named in the following way as quoted by the book, Dundas Shire Centenary 1863 to 1963, page 58. Quote, in 1840, owing to police difficulties in controlling public houses on, or not on the imaginary boundary line, Henry Wade was sent from Sydney on a special mission to mark out the boundary. He completed the survey as far as Serviston by the spring of 1847, and was then appointed district surveyor and in 1850, laid out a township for the Grange, which he named Hamilton. It was then the prerogative of the surveyor to christen his layout. Wade and his family had made close friends of the Hamiltons and Gibsons of Bringlebert, there being intermarriages later. Hamilton Art Gallery is one of the finest galleries in Australia. It is famous for its outstanding collection of fine and decorative arts. Silver, glass and porcelain, oriental ceramics, furniture, paintings and prints are featured in six modern galleries. Many of the treasures came from the gracious country homesteads around Hamilton, the first area of pastoral settlement in Victoria. A bequest to the city of Hamilton of an impressive collection of art works by a local grazier, Herbert Buchanan Shaw, allowed Hamilton Art Gallery to first open its doors in October 1961. Herbert and his wife May were noted collectors and, during their lifetime, established a magnificent art collection. On his death in 1957, Herbert bequested almost 800 items and £6,000 so an art gallery could be built to house his extensive collection of Oriental and European ceramics, glass and silver, tapestries, objects d'art, paintings and prints. The collection has now grown to 8,000 objects through bequests, acquisitions and gifts and includes fine international examples of 19th and 20th century decorative arts and a growing collection of paintings and prints including Australian art. The Gaussian collection of paintings by Paul Sandby, 1731-1809, considered to be the father of English watercolour, is unrivalled in Australia and second to the Queen's collection at Windsor Castle. Still in their original frames they are displayed in an elegant recreation of an English drawing room with William Morris wallpaper. Alexandra House was built in 1874 to accommodate the lady pupils of Alexandra College. 
The foundation stone was laid on 10 November 1873 and became available for use late in 1874. The cost of the original part of the building was £3,500. For nearly a century, Alexandra House would fulfill its original purpose although Alexandra College and Hamilton and Western District Boys College amalgamated as a co-education boarding school in 1962. The amalgamation and purchase by the school of the existing Murnion campus effectively reduced the need for Alexandra College. It was duly sold on 25 August 1973 to a company Australia Felix Pty. Ltd. This company was controlled by the Walter family who operated a catering business from the premises as an extension to their Grey Street business known as Perk and Ellers. Three years later Norm and Judy Kenny purchased the business and developed a large function room continuing the business until 1982 when it was purchased by Graham and Carolyn Milgate and again operated as a function center. Joe Baco then followed, remaining until 1991. T wasn't until October 2, 1992 that at public auction the Hamilton Football Club, itself a centurion institution, successfully bid for what we know as Alexandra House. From that point onwards the football club changed its course of operation from being a solely sporting entity to a large Hamilton and district business and moreover creating a greater public identity. With enormous encouragement from its members the committee set about the renovation of the building to what exists today. Encouragement was received by the way of physical and monetary support, both of which were essential ingredients in refurbishing this fine asset. Prior to the purchase the Hamilton Football Club along with the Branks Home, Wallacedale Football Club, Hamilton Harness Racing Club and Hamilton Racing Club had formed a consortium known as the Hamilton Sporting Clubs. This entity was created with the sole purpose of establishing a gaming venue with Alexandra House as the preferred site. The consortium contributed towards the renovation and was the primary motivator in creating the gaming operation. After much deliberation and legal debating, the business opened on February 10, 1994. The business has a restaurant, slot machines and a sports bar. Lake Hamilton is located at the eastern end of Hamilton and is surrounded by 25 hectares of parkland, an attractive landscaped man-made lake used for various water-based activities featuring an excellent walking, bike track of 4.2 kilometers. The lake's edge has an adventure playground, Hamilton Skate Park and the Dog Park which are many of several opportunities for families to enjoy the outdoor surrounds of the lake. Water-based sports are well catered for with a boat ramp, toilets and shower facilities located off the mill road entry. The Hamilton Park Run is a weekly 5 km run around the lake free for anyone to participate. The lake contains brown trout, rainbow trout, golden perch, estuary perch, tench and redfin. Camping is not permitted around Lake Hamilton. Created in 1977 by forming of a clay embankment across Grange Burn, the lake receives water from the agricultural land upstream of Hamilton and stormwater drains, which run from the streets of Hamilton directly into the lake. Botanic Gardens are historically significant as the fourth oldest botanic gardens in Victoria. Hamilton was surveyed in 1850 and land was set aside for a public garden in 1853. The undulating site maintains the original reservation of 10 acres, 4 hectares. It was not until 1870 that the first plan was supplied by William Ferguson, the curator from the Botanic Gardens Melbourne, for parts and a layout of plantings. Later that year a consignment of 450 shrubs and trees was received from Ferdinand von Müller, the director of the Botanic Gardens Melbourne, and so the first plantings were made. 
William Guilfoyle, the then director of the Botanic Gardens Melbourne, produced a new plan in 1881, and this was progressively implemented over the following decades. This followed to some extent the layout supplied by William Ferguson. The Friends of the Hamilton Botanic Gardens gratefully acknowledges the support of the Victorian Government through the Community Support Fund and Public Record Office Victoria for making this project possible 2010. Guilfoyle's scheme was infused by picturesque sensibilities, but his general planting, and indeed that of Ferguson, placed strong emphasis on individual specimen trees and their botanical significance, a hallmark of the gardenesque. The gardens have evolved guided by Guilfoyle's plan. Zoological elements have been a feature of the gardens since 1885 and illustrate the 19th century fashion for menageries. The Hamilton Botanic Gardens are of historical, scientific, botanical, and aesthetic significance and were included in the Victorian Heritage Register in December 2008. The gardens are one of the most intact examples in Victoria of a 19th century regional botanic garden. station is located on the Ararat, Portland railway line. Today the station is now used only for through freight trains, and the large station building is used only to serve bus passengers, although the disused platform remains in reasonable condition. The railway to Hamilton opened in October 1877. In December that year the line was extended south to the final terminus of Portland. Hamilton became a major railway station with extensive freight facilities and was the junction for several branch lines, to Coleraine opened in 1888, to Penshurst and Coroit in 1890, to Cavendish in 1915, extended to Balmoral in 1920. Rationalization of the station began in 1967 where the signal box was removed, the branch lines to Coleraine and Coroit were closed in 1977, the branch to Balmoral following suit in 1979. The last passenger train between Ararat and Portland was on 12 September 1981, operated by a DRC railcar. Base Hospital assumed its current title in 1972 operative until July 1998 when it became part of the Western District Health Service. The foundation stone for the Hamilton Hospital and Benevolent Asylum was laid on 19 November 1862. It was founded by an association of compassionate citizens and was managed by a voluntary committee elected from charitable subscribers of one pound or more. Its first patients were admitted on 21 March 1863. In 1893, a new and improved hospital was opened to the public. Further building and service developments occurred in 1897 with the opening of the Queen Victoria Infectious Hospital and also again in 1907 with the opening of the McKellar Maternity Hospital. From 1924 all benevolent asylum patients were transferred to Ballarat and the hospital subsequently became known as the Hamilton and District Base Hospital. Another name change in 1957 and the hospital was known as the Glenelg Base Hospital until 1972 when it became the Hamilton Base Hospital. A new hospital is planned on the same site. <laughs> 